Hello everyone, it's your host, Southern Stacker. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Um, different kind of video uh, for y'all. Normally I script my videos to make it, you know, real smooth and awesome sounding. And I'm not saying um a thousand times, but today I wanted to make it a little different. And with that being said, I wanted to show my stack up to this point. Now in 2021, I had... Um, amassed a, a quite a quite a bit more than what I have here today uh, however I had to sell some of it because my brother got pretty sick and we had some pay we had to pay some medical bills but that's okay he's doing great and uh, the, st the stacking journey has started again uh, this month and I'll go through and you know show you all and tell you what I got this month but um, I guess we'll just kind of um, start with something in front of me here. I guess I got some cash laying up here. I'll start with this. It's not in the uh, screen here, but now it is. It is a 1957 uh, $1 blue seal. I guess that's what people call it. Um, yeah, really nice looking dollar. Very beat up, but it was pretty cheap on, uh, at Max's website. I bought this uh, a long time ago, about a year or two ago. So. Probably one of the first pieces I've ever bought from my collection. Yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. So there's that. And this is a 5 euro that my dad got when he went to Romania like forever ago. This is 2002 here. Uh, I actually went to Swaziland, which is a very small country in uh, Africa. Uh, it's about north uh, east of South Africa. Very small country, uh, really cool guy. I never met him, but I saw his um, caravan going through South Africa, which was kind of cool. He's going there for a state meet, but yeah, really cool. This this is worth pretty much nothing. Uh, I think all the ladies have their clothes on, which is good for me. <laughs> okay, and uh, just some really old, crinkly two dollar bills. Yeah, I don't really have many of those. But I'm lucky to have what I do have. And then just a buffalo. A buffalo nickel. Nothing really special about that. And then I got a Merc. Or two Mercs. One's really beat up. I gotta... I'm not gonna clean it, but maybe try to get a towel and water to it. And kind of scrape off some of the, the, the dirt and grime. But yeah. It's one of my Mercs. I love, I love Mercs. I think I might try to grab me a tube of those at some point. So I got this uh, for my birthday last year. My dad actually got it for me. Sorry, I, I gotta get used to it. the camera being over here and not over here in front of me. I apologize. Because I just got a new setup today. I hope you guys like it. I'm probably gonna change this out for something else, probably. Uh, maybe like a black mat. That way you can see the train. Uh, well, you can see it a little better. But yeah, this is an Eisenhower $1 coin. I don't, I don't think these have any silver in it. I'm pretty sure they don't. Um, but yeah, really, really cool coin my dad got for my birthday. I thought that was really nice. So this is a Pixie 2020 Pixie. This was actually one of the very first silver coins that I ever got, ever, ever purchased. Really um, struck, uh, struck my eye, or got the attention of my eye rather. I just like the the two Pixies. Uh, pretty cool. Moving on, I did not pay $21 for this, nor did my family. I got this one for my birthday last year. It's my very first Franklin Half. I think these are 40% silver, if not less. I'd have to go and look at Rob's um, book. <laughs> okay, and then I have just some $1 commemorative coins, I think these are. And then a Susan B. Anthony. Okay, there's that. And then if you watch my videos, you actually already know what this is. This is the Queen's Beast 2 ouncer. Really beautiful coin. My plan is to collect all of these, but that's going to happen when everything comes down in premium. Because I think um, the Griffin right now is like $170 on Atmax for the 2 ounce coin, which is just unbelievable. Which I'm not paying. I don't think anyone in their right mind would. 
a 2009 Eagle that I have kept in my wallet slash pocket for like a year now. My mom got it for me. It's really cool. I just keep my pocket. It's pocket change. Yeah, super high premium coin that we just keep in my pocket, right? So these are all the coins that I picked up last year, I believe. Nope, oh, got one more. So I got this coin. It's my first collectible coin. Not too many of these were made. I got these back in 2021. I got this one back in 2021. It's the Reaper uh, Reaper Death coin, I believe. Let me get the camera to focus. And it's um, a commemorative coin because they found a subspecies in Canada of the T-Rex, if I'm not mistaken. So they made this coin. The Canadian Mint did. Yeah, I want to say this black. I have to read up on it again. I'm sorry. This black toning is a uh, uh, caused by the rhodinium, which is a, a, a different element. I want to say it's radioactive, but uh, do not quote me on that. Uh, so there's that, and then I got some of these tubes from Atmex a long, long time ago. Just some buffaloes. more buffaloes these were on sale and then some more nif war nipples nipples war nipples war nickels just a roll of that I don't feel like I have a whole lot but then I feel like I do I don't know it, it adds up to be a lot and then I actually found this one coin roll hunting it's a 1945 Jeffrey Jefferson war nickel and th these three, kid you not, are the very first silver coins I ever purchased were these silver quarters. Very, very first. I had about 40 of them, but I had to sell some. But I wanted to keep these. Yeah, so I got three of those. I love how they feel, and they're slick, too. They're so slick. Probably overpaid for them, honestly. There's nothing in there. I wish there was. Maybe one day, right? Let me get this other seal open. And this is the where the bulk of my silver is. I have a... And I don't care about touching these. I'm going to buy more. So, it's whatever. A Morgan Peace Dollar. Also one of the first coins I ever bought. Really cool. I know I keep saying one of the first ones, one of the first ones. But these are really the only coins that I... I've purchased anyway 2021 type 2 Eagle I think these things are freaking awesome these suckers are gonna be worth some money one day I already know it sorry it's like really cold in my room even though I live in Alabama it's freezing down here right now because of the the Arctic vortex is what they call it but anyway this is a uh, Canadian 2022 20, I believe 21, or, sorry. And then I got three Britannias. I think Britannias are freaking awesome. They're so cool. I like the designs on, on the back and the security features. That's one reason why I bought them, was for the security features. And because the premium was super low. So these, I don't know if you can see it. These are the coins that I have gotten this year. Everything else you see over here, which you can't see anymore because of the camera. I'm still working on the camera stuff. A lot better than my older videos though. These over here and then these are the coins that I've, I've had already. But these coins right here are what I bought this year. Okay. So we've already covered that. The Queen's Beast. The Britannias. These are my ruse. I got two of them. I was watching some YouTube videos and they were like, everybody was like, invest in gold, invest in gold this year. And I decided I should. And uh, so I got two ruse. Apologies if you can't see them. And I got this Lunar Tiger Series 3, brilliant uncirculated 2022 by the Perth Mint. Quadruple nines, probably my favorite coin in the entire collection. I, I, I adore this coin. 
I think I adore it because it is um, literally over $500 of gold in my hand and it's not even bigger just barely bigger than my thumb which is insane so like this is almost a thousand dollars in gold it just that's hard for me to believe that it blows my mind but yeah I mean it doesn't really seem like a lot to most stackers out there but this is this is where I started right I mean I think I did the math that silver content and gold content it's I don't know, it's almost like $1,500 worth, which is a crap ton of money um, to me anyway. But my, my goal by the end of the year is to have three ounces of gold and over 100 ounces of silver. So that's um, quick math in my brain, which is probably going to be wrong, five dollars $6,000 worth. So I'm really excited for that goal. And um, I, I, think, I think I'll hit it this year. But anyway... Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's different. Again, normally I script my videos to kind of make it sound cool and everything sounds right. But I just wanted you guys to get a raw uh, video of, of what my stack looks like. There's a couple more stuff over here that you guys can't see. Like, just a bunch of old Canadian coins that I would pull out when I would do my searching for wheat pennies. And I got a bunch of wheat penny rolls, but no one really cares about the copper stuff. <laughs> But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, you guys, and I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.